fine. I mean, it's gonna last two or three more turns this game anyway. I want to play Paladin, or I want to play Shaman. I don't really know what... I can't remember what sets came in. I haven't looked at the mini set. Forget about it. Let's just, let's just see what happens. I'm watching you. While well, chilling, instead of working. <laughs> you say that you wanted to play Paladin? I think there's a new Excavate treasure for Paladin. Paladin and Shaman can excavate legendary treasures now, I think. Let's try that out. I will serve. Reconnaissance? Oh, re wait, Reconnaissance? Ooh. I think Shaman's gonna be really good. Oh my god, my legendary suck! <laughs> uh, what's the, uh, 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 cancel the meta. Forget it. Shaman is the only... Shaman 1 is only good in Arena, so it works out. I haven't looked at him, I gotta look at him. Uh, this card was never that good. Cast a spell from your deck. Spellburst was the key mechanic from, uh, Golomance, I think. Cast a spell from your deck. Targets this if possible. So, like, Welcome. if you have a Blessing of Kings or whatever, it's good. It's bad when you have, have a nice day, beard, the minore di tre. Hammer of Wrath. But, uh, I think Talon will just take it. Feel you know, a little underwhelmed, but who knows? Maybe we'll get a big... Oh, underwhelmed? Maybe we'll feel great. <laughs> um, wow, that's insane with Tears Tears. <laughs> I've not I've not seen that interaction yet, nor has probably anybody. Um, so this is an eight mana eight eight rush, and after it attacks a minion, seven a five five defender with taunt. So it kills something and then it puts a minion on board that you can't kill and then it never dies. Uh discover a holy spell is pretty good, actually. There's another card that looks a lot like this that like gains attack when you cast a holy spell or or when you target it with a spell. It's like they look similar, but one sucks and one's good. This is the good one. Uh, Tears Tears with Templar Captain seems kind of unfair. 2-2 two, two that summons a 5-5, five, five, right? 2-2 two, two with Rush. But we'll take that and pull it with our Talon. Okay, we got Kathir, which is okay. Shield Master, which I don't want. 6 mana, 4-5, Divine Shield Taunt. Costs 1 less for each spell you've cast on friendly characters this game. So if you cast it for 4, it's okay. Um, these are dual class cards too. Paladin and Priest was um, one of the pairings in Scholomance. Um, we saw one already, I think, didn't we? No, we didn't. Uh, yeah, we did. Our legendary was a dual class card. Um, I'm not sure about that. Like I said, if you get it for four, it's it's an okay card. If you get it for less than four, I guess it's good. Let's just take it and not feel too excited about that guy. Judicious Junior. That was kind of a surprisingly good card when it came out. Six mana, four, nine lifesteal. Just kind of one of those cards that has to be answered. You can't just ignore it. But if your opponent, you know, subdues it or whatever kill it for two mana, then you feel really bad. Um, since we already have two expensive cards, I think I'm going to just take Hammer of Wrath here. This red beard time, what's up? I will probably never happen again unless red is going to turn into a day streamer. Oh, I do some days here or there. Not that many. Uh, Deputization Ore I think is okay. Wild Pyro I don't really have a desire to take. Let's go with Muscle Otron, right? Forge it and buff it. Put it in a stew. I like that card. And then Fishy was... Uh, Deceptively strong card. All of these kind of like ghost cycle cards from Scholomance were pretty good. There's Fishy Flyer, 4 mana, 4 3. Add a 4 3 to your hand. Just, you know, lets you answer a 6 4 and add a card to your hand. Lets you kill a 2 3 on curve and keep some value. There was what? A, um, there's a 6 mana 5 7 that gives you a taunt. A 6 mana 5 7 when it dies. There was one more. Chat will remember. Uh, was it 2 mana 3 1 stealth or something? That adds a 2 mana 3 1 stealth. They were all pretty good. There's one of the cards that's sort of a payoff for these type of uh, this type of synergy, right? Um, give a minion Divine Shield and summon a 1-1 one, one copy of it. Like, you play it on these type of cards, so you get a 1-1 one, one Fishy Flyer that adds another 4-3 to your hand. Uh, it's good on Talon. It's good to, like, reduce these things. It's very good on Templar. I think I'll just take it. The other cards are pretty bad. I like Keeper. Uh, Voodoo Doctor, I, I don't know why this is even draftable, but whatever. Uh, Wave of Apathy was a card where there's some synergies with it. I never liked it much. Set the attack of all enemy minions um, to one until your next turn. So, like, you could set them all to one and then trade them all. You could set them all to one and then just play, like, whatever, your pupil. And then their guys at least have a harder time trading in or they can't push that much damage. It's certainly not, like, an unplayable card, but... I think this card was overrated in the past. Let's go Ul Demon. I've never seen this card on the right. Uh, Smug Senior is what we were talking about in line with this card. 
Silver Moon Portal's decent, again, for Pupil, and it's just an okay card. Summon two 1-1 one, one Silver Hand Recruits with Death Rattle. Summon a 1-1 one, one Frail Ghoul, and that's the uh, the Death Knight Hero Power, so it's a 1-1 one, one with Charge that dies. I think this card's crazy, isn't it? You get basically 4-4 four, four worth of stats for two, and some of it has Charge, and some of it's a Silver Hand. I think that card's good. I mean, we should try out some of the new cards, but... Oh my god, Night Captain's back. <laughs> um, I imagine Night Captain won't be as good as it was, but I imagine it will still be very good. So Honorable Kill means it has to deal exact damage, and then it gets the effect. So, for example, if your opponent tempos out a Fishy Flyer, and then you Night Captain it, you kill the Fishy Flyer, and then you get a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, something to remember, if you didn't play with Night Captain, is if you trade into, for example, a 6-6 six, six of your opponents, you will get a 9-3 it will survive the damage for some reason and then gain the stats. So keep that in mind. If you, you know, when you're, when you're attacking, once it's on the board, it still, it still gets those beneficial effects. So if you hit a five, six, it'll become whatever, uh, a nine, four or whatever, right? Something like that. When it's a six, six. Um, I'm gonna take another Musclotron. I think both these twos would be nice to pick up. I, maybe, maybe, you know, five drafts from now, we're regretting never having any twos, but... You can always forge this card on too. I feel like they get better in multiples also. Right. Uh, Hearthstoner, what's up, dude? Uh, Ring of Courage, tradable. Give a minion plus one, plus one, and repeat for each enemy minion. Yeah, that was a surprisingly powerful card. Um, a lot of times you get, you know, plus three, plus three, or plus four, plus four out of nowhere. It has tradable, so if you're off the board, it, you know, you can get rid of it. I, I just, aren't these keepers really good? Turn their knight captains from nine nines back into three threes and then knight captain them again. We'll see. Uh, none of these are all that interesting. Um, I think I'll just take a Holy Cowboy. I've got a couple Holy Spells, and I'll probably pick up a few more. Well, Crime Street Outfitter plus uh, whatever that card was. This card? Maybe I just buff everything? Uh, yeah, this card's still really good. Lawful Long Arm. Uh, Sorceress Substitute. Man, imagine this card being around. Remember, uh, this card was sometimes good, if you can imagine. A 6-mana six 6-6... Six, six. But you have to work really hard to summon another 6-6. Six, six. But it doesn't summon two 6-6s six, with Rush <laughs> every time. Lab partner. There was a there was support for this, so you'll probably see some more spell damage cards. I'm imagining, I think Scholomance has a couple like incremental spell damage cards. But man, I, I think when it released, uh, spell damage totem was still a thing also. So you would like sometimes take it in Shaman. It was a better Shaman card. But we'll take the Rush Lifesteal. Plus, with all these buffs, it could really bring us back if we're falling behind. Love Disciple. I like Hand of a Doll. And uh, Steward of Scrolls is back, so as long as Sunwell, I don't think Sunwell's in. I mean, then it would be really annoying. But uh, there's like some some good spell damage on a neutral minion. It's a little understated, but getting a spell is pretty powerful. I imagine it's going to be better in other classes rather than Paladin. But we'll see. I'm going to take this Disciple, though. On Baldar Bridge, there is a broken card. Uh, what's the what's the word? How do you want to describe it? Um, surprisingly good card as well. Uh, four mana after you summon a minion, give it plus two plus two, and it lasts for three turns. So like you play it and you play like a shitter, and it's like oh this isn't that strong, and then you unload your whole hand, and then it's like oh this doesn't feel fair, and then it always felt like oh there's another turn of this, <laughs> like I'm I've already lost, and then if you play it on turn you know eight or nine or ten or whatever a lot of times you can get value the turn you play it so you play like this card so you play like two three threes and then the next turn you trade them both off you summon two more three threes and then you also spend six or seven mana right and then you summon a gigantic pupil for zero mana like all, all sorts of crazy stuff can happen you have a disciple of amatus out the next turn you summon a six seven a two two that becomes a four four that gets a buff from the another one you know Pretty snowball -y card. Well, one good snowball is worth another. Um, I think Flash is like a playable card, but I don't really want it. A lot of support for uh, this Devout Pupil, now you've, I've noticed. A lot of fine cards that can make it work. Um, done Another Dunbaldar Bridge. I think it's a little um, less valuable. We have all these Musclotrons, so we want minions in our hand. And then if you have two in your hand, then it becomes a bad card, right? Uh, Tram op Operator is okay. We could pull these. But maybe I just take the containment unit. It's still just big and nasty. I have a lot of big and nasty minions. Excuse me. Oh my god, Argent Braggart. 
That card was insane too. Set this minion's attack and health to the highest on the battlefield. So it's like a 2 mana 8-8. Eight, eight. It's pretty unfair. The issue is it's not really a 2 drop and our deck kind of needs 2 drops. It's one of the best paladin cards I'm sure. But I feel like we have a lot of redundant effects. So it's like it doesn't get the buffs from this. Like it becomes a 3-3 three, three, and then it stays an 8-8, eight, eight, you know? Um, first pick, I think I would probably take it, but 20th pick with a bad curve and a lot of support for a lot of anti-synergy for that card, I think I'm going to pass. Uh, Legionnaire was a card people take a lot. Um, I think it was really bad. Six mana, nine, three. Give all the minions in your hand, plus two, plus two. I'd rather do the same thing uh, on turn three rather than turn six. And then a lot of the time, the power level of um, the power level of things is dis is a bit dictated by what else is in the meta. So you'd pay, pay six mana for this card, and then your opponent would just night captain it, get a 6-6 six, six, and free kill your guy. And that happens a lot, so I don't know if it'll still happen, but at the end of the day, if you're spending six mana on something with three health, it better have an incredible battle cry, not a mediocre death rattle. Return any mechs magnetized to this, so we don't really have much magnetiz magnetization. This deconstructor is kind of like a perfect card with... Bridges and the and the musclotrons and even the outfitters. You can still play on curve and still have a handful of minions. Not a lot of new cards, but a lot of powerful old cards so far, huh? I don't know how many paladin cards there are. Probably only a few from the mini set. Uh wow, Goody Two Shields was very good too. Um Divine Shield, Spellverse, Spellverse gain Divine Shield again. Don't have too many spells. So it's probably not as good for us, but this was a deceptively strong card too. Uh, I'm going to take the Battle Vicar, uh, discover a holy spell. It's just cheap and can find some broken stuff, I'm sure. Portal's okay. Brewmaster with the double outfitter. Double Muslochon's kind of interesting. Gnome Private wasn't very good. Um, I think I'll just take the Brewmaster. Ideally, we're not tempoing it out. Oh wow, Troll Cent Centurion. There's a throwback. 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight rush. Honorable kill. Deal 8 damage to the hero. So I can pretty comfortably say that we'll all lose some games to this card um, without thinking about it. <laughs> you'll play a 4-8 taunt and be like, okay, I'm stopping my opponent from swinging a weapon. And then you'll just all of a sudden take 8 and die. Um, it's a good card. Not a great card, but it's good. I think I'll just take something that um, can interact with the board. That seems reasonable. Uh, first day of school has gone through about 18 changes, so I'm not sure what it does. Add two random one-cost minions to your hand, so it's a decent card. I think at one point it added three, if I'm not mistaken. And then at one point, I think it cost zero and added two, I think. Hey, Hammy, what's up? Lori, good to see you. Wait, so is this the time of the day that all the smoking Hot Babes hang out? Well, maybe we'll have to stream at this time more often. It was one add three, then zero add two, yeah. So this is the worst version of it, but it's still a good card. Um, helps you curve out. Gives you an extra minion for Outfitters and Musclotrons and even Bridges. So just having a net mass of, of minions will help our deck as currently constructed. Protector's fine, but I think we'll take this. And sometimes you high roll too, right? Like sometimes you hit a Swash Burglar and a Babbling Book or a Prime Minion or whatever. Um, let's go with the Long Arm. One Consecration's fine. Another Ring would be fine. But these are good, right? Horn. A oh, horn was a trap card back in the day. Summon the lowest cost minion in your hand. So it's an understated weapon that's designed to be played in like a big paladin shell with things like Templar Captain. And there was a big dragon. I don't know if it's in this set that had honorable kill and cast the consecration and healed you. And it was pretty broken. And yeah, in arena, you just oftentimes are pulling like something you don't want to pull. Sometimes it'll work and bad players will feel justified in taking it but in general it wasn't very good how's my day going i slept for like three or four hours and then it, I, I woke up at like eight and i was like no i'm going back to bed because i went to bed at like 5 a.m i went to bed pretty early for me and then i was like no i don't want it i'm going back to bed i woke up it was nine o'clock and i really had to pee and i was like i'm not getting out of bed and then it was like 9 30 i'm like you know what i kind of have to get up and pee and i was like okay let me just you know Nature has, has, has dictated that I'll, I'll play like one arena run. Then we try to go back to bed. How's the treasure thing work? Oh yeah, our last pick is going to be a, a, a duel's treasure. I forgot. Uh, our, 20, our 30th pick is going to be 
a duels treasure, so it's coming up. I only got offered two mini set cards out of 90 cards. Well, that's a small thing, right? The mini set only offers three or four cards, I think, for each class. So you're probably not going to see a ton of mini set cards, but you'll see some. I think I've only been offered one, if I'm not mistaken. And who knows? I mean, maybe there's a reduced offering rate on them on accident. Who knows? It's Hearthstone, so there's usually a bug. It's about finding out which bug <laughs> is here. Uh, well, there's a new mini set card right, right as we talk about. I don't know what it does. Death battle, each, death battle, give each of your minions a bonus effect. Three mana, four, three elemental. Probably a lot better in like shaman or mage, where there's probably a lot of elemental synergy still kicking about. Maybe other classes, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem that great. I mean, if you're playing like a one drop into a two drop and then trading it, playing this and then playing a four drop and then trading and getting like three effects and some of them are divine shield, like it's probably good then, but it's probably not living. Be happy they didn't forget to add them. <laughs> well, we don't know. They might have forgot to add them from whatever Zygotai's class was, <laughs> right? It's not horrible in a class like Paladin. Yeah, it's a win more card. So if you're ahead and play it, and then you can manipulate the board in a way that like you can get the most value from it, then it's great. But cards that are only good when you're ahead in those circumstances, like Savage Roar or Bloodlust or even you know this type of card, a lot of times they'll be in your hands, you'll play it. It's a useless three drop with no minions on board, and then they'll true silver it, or they'll night captain it, or they'll fishy flyer it, and then they'll kill it and add a card to their hand, you'll get nothing, right? Like sometimes that happens. Um we have two more picks. This one, one more, and then our duels treasure. Uh Vitality Surge. Draw a minion, restore health equal to its cost. Eh, playable card, but not a not a particularly strong card. Another big Paladin Tutor card for Constructed. Paste it into Arena. Yeah, I mean, it's still two mana to draw a card and gain two life, four life, eight life. Um, a card like Vitality Surge is a lot better than a bad card in your deck. So what's the worst card in our deck? We actually don't have any bad cards in our deck. But let's just say you had a Cobalt Geomancer as, as a pick here. I, like I would take a Vitality Surge because I never want to draw Cobalt Geomancer. But sometimes I'm going to go Outfitter into Muslotron and to, you know, a Flyer, and then I'm going to be out of cards, and then I'm going to play a Vitality Surge, and I'm going to draw a Kem Templar Captain and gain 8 health. Like, sometimes the upside of a card like this is better than a card that's always going to be bad for you, even if sometimes that card is bad for you. Um, I jinxed it when I said we didn't have any bad cards. We have a Death Kemp, a Tiger, and I guess I take a Trog. It at least has Rush. I suppose if you buff it a few times, a 5-5 four, a five, five, or a six, 6 Rush could be okay. Um, and then our last pick will be our duels treasure, unless this system is borked. <laughs> okay, I think these are bad. <laughs> I looked briefly at the treasures. Uh, give your hero six attack for three mana. I mean, that's a playable card. It's like a three mana fireball. Eh, yeah. Uh, I think Mind Apocalypse is the worst duels treasure. Both players draw two cards. I don't know why I'm giving my opponent two cards. I'm really only drawing one. Remember, I have to give up a card. Um, reduce the cost of all the cards in your hand by one. I'm, I'm, I suspect that that card is potentially really good. Um, maybe not in this deck, maybe in this deck. I, I think it's the one I want to try the most. But if you have this in your opener, like, or like, I don't know, you're, you're, you're playing things like first day of school, maybe it's just like an uber tempo card that can get ahead of people. But uh, my, my Apocalypse, I think, is the worst one. Uh, both players draw two cards and gain an empty mana crystal, or a, a full mana crystal. I guess you get a full mana crystal on your turn, I guess. Is that right? It doesn't say empty, so. What in the barcode am I looking at? You can't call it a barcode. This is the first. Also, you've only written two messages since you told me I had to be nice to you. And they've both called me a barcode while I'm playing whatever the hell deck I've been offered. Is this live? Yeah, this is live. Sorry, I'm going to eat my bagel. Sorry, boss. I'll do better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. None can escape my fury. I will fight with honor. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody sent me a clip. Um, if you want to watch that. If Dreads wants to watch that clip and ever presume to tell me that I have any semblance of luck <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Is Dreads going to mull because you can't make the treasures golden? Hmm. Probably not. Do you die at the end of my turn or at the end of his turn? This card's a lot worse if he trades and I lose the 1-1. One, one. Oh my god. 
Oh, I keep it? Okay, that's pretty nuts. Well, it's gonna die, so I guess I do that. Alright, I'm gonna try to, like, do nothing and then pop off. That's gonna be my plan here. Only I can complain when I'm winning. <laughs> Hang on whelps is than it looks. Mm, let's get the deck tracker on. Boy, that's so good. Alright, fuck it. Hmm, wait. Ooh, but I lose this. Hmm, do I? The battle. I can kill that one. The battle. Maybe that's good. Uh, capturable overlay. Okay, there you go. Um, dart prediction. What the fuck? <laughs> that's fucking rude. Pardon my language. Who is next on the chopping block? Deceptively unkind. Uh, let's start a prediction. Chat likes predictions. Many wins. Sure. Almost done with my bagel. It's all cold now, by the way. I just want to take advantage of all the buffs from Dunbaldar Bridge here. What lurks in the I just remembered I need to go buy Booba Jaina. Chat should give you the money to buy Booba Jaina. That's what I think about Booba Jaina. Is it even that good here? Wouldn't I rather just play Talon? I want to develop some minions. I want to draw my um my Templar captain, right? can play it on curve. $31 Canadian. What the fuck? What's Canadian? All right, I'm settled in. Wait, let me drink my orange juice. Is he attacking? He's attacking. Now I'm a smacking. Friend is back, but now I have no minions in my hand. Kind of rude. Now remember, this only summons a 5-5 if you attack a minion. I know it says it very clearly there, but many of us forgot in the past. When you go face, you don't get one. So, I guess it's balanced. Dreads is a bit of celebrity in this chat, isn't he? Yeah, kind of like, um... Kind of like Christina Aguilera. That time her hoo-ha fell out of her dress. In a way. That makes sense. <laughs> hey, Jirkaraf, what's up, dude? Long time no see. Normal streamer on early, thank god. What about Dose of Coffee? What about um, Judge? What about um, Rarin? What about Mifundi? It was so good to have that card, but I have a bunch of spells in my hand. I think what I want to start with is Grime Street. And, well, not a 7 and an 8, but what can you do? Um, Muslotrons, drones, first day of school. Like, there's things for us, right? Could play this one first before this. Um, this felt deceptively strong, too. I think I've said deceptively strong about 14 times today. But this feels strong, um, with the bridges. That felt pretty nutty. We didn't, like, um, cast the bridge and then get zero value, which that's the real catch with playing this on curve, right? You have to skip a turn, effectively. But we still got plus two, plus two. Dreads, yesterday I watched for the first time your glorious clip turn four. <laughs> Do I ever coin this? If I pick up another two or a four, I think I will. Or a one. Hmm, that's none of those things. But I guess I could play this in hero power. This one's dying. Does it just go face? That would have tilted anyone. <laughs> yesterday I got hit by four wolves by turn six. Chat said, why aren't you tilted? I said, because I just don't give a damn anymore. <laughs> I just don't give a flying crap. Like, I guess I just do it this way, right? I get to, I mean, unfortunately, I don't keep those. But I do get to push one damage and fully clear the board. I, I get plus two, plus two. All right, what am I looking for? 
whelp for next turn, maybe? I mean, these are great cards to get copies of later in the game. Um, these buffs didn't really help me too much. Uh, so this is the third of the Ghost Cycle cards. The sneaky, sneaky... Oh wait, they're not all called sneaky, are they? Uh, two mana, three one, add a three one ghost with stealth. You know, I like the flavor. Oh my gosh, I remember that card. Three mana, deal three. Honorable kill, summon another... Uh, summon an, uh, a copy, a three three copy. Can be pretty nutty. We play two cards. I get a three three from this too. Am I just done? I'm out. I mean, in general, you're trying to get multiple buffs from this card. So I can play one big minion, it's okay, but I get plus four, plus four this way instead of plus two, plus two. Three one's a great card. Yeah, yeah, these days, I imagine those cards obviously have been power crept a little bit. But I guess I'm going to just have to play this so I can use my own guy. A uh, good play by him. To kill the thing that, you know, needed to be killed. Um, I guess if I kill this one, maybe he can't outright kill my guy. Dreads respects the wolves so much that he already sexualized them. A new word, wolfussy. You weren't tilted because you know the wolves take planning and you respect them. They played six Illidari studies and four wolves by, uh, whatever the hell turn that was. Okay, will this be the first time that this card drops one of these cards that drops <laughs> another one of those? Boy, I sure hope not. I sure hope not. Is he getting back? Oh, the thing that steals my thing. Oh my god, if he gets back Nodjok, I guess he didn't get it. Maybe he did get it? No, he should have taken this and traded that, right? Endless Recursion. You think he's gonna get Endless Recursion? Where did that Nodjack come from? Oh, Museum Curator. That's nutty. That card's really strong. So I can go 5 and 3. I can play this 9-9. Nine, nine. What does that card do? Couldn't click through that so fast. Give a friendly minion plus 2 plus 2. Deal 2 damage to a random enemy. Okay, that's not like the worst thing. Let's hope this trade happens. And he doesn't have a Shadow Word Death. What's up, Shadow Wan? Redbridge streaming early? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe try to get a, a YouTube video up of the new meta relatively quickly. Uh, so what does he take from me? Prismatic, Bridge. Oh my god, if he gets Gift of Luminance, I lose. That would feel really bad. If he got Gift of Luminance, I lose. That feels really bad. What's up, Marcelo? Beating dreads to YouTube, like always. I don't know if that's true. Um, I can't beat that. I know that. But if we're pretending, what, what moves would we make? I don't really know. That's not the one you wanted to copy. We had a pretty rough opener where we had a containment unit and a Templar capped in my opener, and we can't even capitalize on it with a Starlight Well, We're supposed to be nicer to Dreads? Well, he has to start being nicer to us. He came in and he was mean to us to start. Priest is back. Yeah, I mean, if all your priest's decks are doing this, okay. Okay. Oh no. Okay, sure. I thought he was going to summon a 3-3 copy of it. I mean, I'm still kind of fucked, huh, but... Turn that into a... Oh, this sword was okay, too, huh? Turn that into a smaller minion? Let's start here. Yeah, copy a fell spell in your hand. Um, let's do this. I could brew this back. I'm not attacking with a divine shield is relevant. You mean, like, removing it? Yeah, you should remove this as fast as you can. You should throw it into, like, a dead minion most of the time. I could just trade. It's just not that good. I do this. I, just, I don't really want to take power off the board here, but I guess I'm going three, one, one, two. So I guess I am probably just taking this back, but then I'm giving up all my minions. I'm losing all my buffs. None may steal our secrets. I, must move quickly. I could brew this one back and replay it. Who's ready for another round? 
lot of stats still. Look at this guy on early. What's up, South Red? How's your guts? How, how's, how are your guts doing? What is this? This is one, like, just a 3 1 copy of all the cards I played. And I played uh, six cards. That doesn't feel fair. How long until Hearthrena gets the new cards? Probably a half a day or a day. Probably. Got some advice for you, Red. Do not play an active Kazakasan. Does it not work? Don't tell me it doesn't work. Please clarify. None may steal our secrets. Interesting. Got big stuff. Got some big stuff, and I cannot lie. Um, that goes there. That's pretty big. I guess I should look for a holy spell. Keeper strength. Give a minion plus two plus one and divine shield. It gains life steal only until end of turn. This is okay too if we wanted to break that, but let's do this. Eventually it's got to work, right? I'm going to be out of Gigantor minions though. But doesn't he just have a bunch of crap? He has a brew, all my poo, a bunch of ones, and a three one? Like there's definitely no guarantee. He looks like he's got a lot of answers, but we know all of his stuff is shit. It deletes your deck with no treasures. Oh, that's lame. Do you have a clip? Can I see a clip? My guts are so unhealthy I made aggro crag this morning. What's aggro crag? Wait, it happened! <laughs> it took the second proto drake to summon... <laughs> to summon a containment unit against me. That's not cool. That's not what you want. Uh, prismatic beam looks like a decent draw here. Oh, this was a pretty good card back in the day. Um, I can hit, hit, then delete. Oh, I did draw it. Oh, that's nice. Um, I was gonna play this, but, huh. Three? I'm not killing that. Maybe it doesn't matter? So I could do this, but then I can't play anything. I guess I'll trade this and... I'm gonna look around. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, kill this one or I can kill that one. But now I can't play this. I'm gonna have to be careful. I think this kills the 2 2, though. Mm. But I guess I'm leaving that up because it's just smaller. You know, he's holding what? A crappy brew? Oh, but he could brew this back. Yeah, I want to kill that. Okay, let's. Prismatic Beam. Then I guess I'm gonna trade here. Maybe. Arena will be amazingly fun today. I've had fun in the first two games. I hope I win though. But if I don't, I blame myself. No, you can't top deck an answer to my only threat. Okay, that's not as bad. Sure, he gets... But man, this priest is stealing all my cards. Najok, Hexen, uh, uh, this one drop somewhere. Uh, he cast this four mana thing that took six of my cards. Uh, that's fine. Um, rush, battle cry, take... What? I was reading that. Take your weapon and gain its stats. And give it back. Give it back. Don't mind that. Someone's calling me. It's probably a scam. Um, I guess I'm playing this. Dude, am I just sitting here trading? Trading all game? Trading the world away? Someone come and kidnap me from work. They lost 1-1 one, one for no reason. Maybe to assert their dominance. You have a house phone? No, a cellular phone. It can ring too. Ah, oh, good. I was thinking it had been a while since a priest had stolen one of my cards and put it on their board. Cool play. Look at me, look at me. I'm the knight captain now. I mean, I guess I have one or, or two. I have one. Oh, he used mine. He played mine. Turn 18, we can finally start going face. 
Hopefully he draws his death wing this turn. At the end of your turn, restore two health. Wait, I was listening to that. To all friendly characters. Part seems pretty good. Um on Fartmore's Bridge. So we have uh 10, 20, 23. Actually, I think I had lethal with these two. But that's okay, because this will be fun too, right? Unless, of course, I end up not winning the game. We could have pushed 2, 4, right? Is that right? Wait, maybe not. Maybe that's. Oh, no, no, no. We could have pushed 2 with this and 2 with this. Just got turn 3. Doc Holiday and Arena. Quickest concede in a while. Turn 3? How did that happen? Alright, alright. Two wins. Try drafting Priest to see if it was better. This meta, it's not. My opponent's deck looked pretty incredible. I think. I would caution against coming to any sweeping conclusions after one draft on the first day. You very well may be right, but it takes time. Remember that one time you ate tree bark fresh off the tree? Those were in my early streamer days when I didn't have uh, any, any money. I didn't have any choice but to eat the bark. That priest deck looks super fun to play. That did look fun to play. He took one of my cards every turn for the entirety of the game. New cards? Yeah, new cards. Fun to check them out. We'll probably do just one run this morning, I would guess. And then um, stream like normal tonight. Barcodes still exist? Oh yeah, of course. They're not going away. I thought you were always rich. I was rich in friendship and spirit because I had Twitch chat. I had Ham Slice and my other friends. And here's the good news, um, Ham. It's tree bark contains a lot of um, grubs and, and insects. Do one run and then let the Papega Dreads have a shift. Hey, that's my friend Dreads right there you're talking about. Sure, some people may have likened him to a Papega, but not me. Not this guy. Not me. His name's Asimov Solonson. Lots of nutrients. <laughs> There's a lot of protein in grub larvae. <laughs> After your opponent casts a spell, summon another Iron Deep Trog. That's kind of cool. My problem is I... Got a lot of work to do before I can start playing cards, but the time is coming, right? <laughs> Necessary footwall preservation. <laughs> I got a little bit of a footwall going on now. It's taking longer and it's much more subdued. It um, It's because most of the time I'm wearing socks because it's colder here. Now that I moved to Boston, Massachusetts. What the hell? Wait, that's great for me. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Unfortunately, this is the nerfed version of Iron Deep Trog as well. It will summon another 1-2. When this card originally released, it would summon a copy of the one you had. So I would get a 3-4 if he had a spell. You wear socks now? How times have changed. Well, it's cold here all the time, and my feet are usually the coldest thing. Plus, I press them up against this wall, which is right, you know, like this wall's not that cold. This one's a sliding glass door with only a little bit of wall. It's all iced. I want to ride my bike today. I want to go out, let the wind flow through my hair. My I can confirm the opponent playing Sludge on Wheels on turn 3 is still a certainty. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait, I thought I was getting the buff on this. Mm. Poison? Would I, would I play Poison here? Wind Fury. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Figure it out next turn. Although the buff on that could have been... Quite potent, huh? Rotation sets. Happy surprise seeing you on, Red. What's up, Shmogoigo? Shmogoigo, are you still playing Rumble? You can kick me out of the guild. <laughs> I think the guild's named after me, but you can kick me out if I'm still in it. I haven't logged in in, like, six weeks. Kinda. I just dirty ratted into Excavate Legendary. Cool. He wears socks on his feet. That's the different part. I used to wear them, um... I used to wear them on a different part of my body. But I had to order those custom-made gigantic socks that Shaq uses for his feet. It don't matter. It's uh, name recognition, you know? Summon two, one, three mana worms. Wait, this card's been buffed. One mana deal four? Oh my god, wait, what just happened here? I just absolutely farmed me. Wait, my turn kind of sucks. Should I take two of these down? Or should I kill this one? Maybe I should just kill this stupid thing. Red is in Red Hot Chili Peppers, confirmed. I'm in Red Hot Chili Peppers. 
That's confirmed. That's been confirmed. Let me play with these little things. What do you think about that? Freeze any character damaged by this. Well, that's cute. I could shrink it and trade it, or I can. Oh my god, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Um. None may steal us. I mean, it's frozen, but he's gonna trade in anyway, so it's not that debilitating of a freeze. I'm excited to play the new cards. Oh yeah, I think it's fun. The first couple of days of a new meta are always the best. Seeing the old cards, um, not knowing exactly what's going to happen in every game, you know? You get to this point a couple weeks into the meta where you're just like, you already know what's going to happen before it happens. And sometimes it's really frustrating stuff that happens repeatedly, you know? Oh. <laughs> so this is... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what what a deck. What a deck it was. Mind Apocalypse. Shame on him. Uh, this is a 6 mana Firelands portal. Deal 6, summon a random 6 cost minion. Destroy the bottom 6 cards of your deck. So he just burned those 6 cards. And his 6 drop he got was the new uh, Highlander Bran Warrior Legendary card. So he got a, um, a terrible card there. Why does the new update come out? Why or when? The update's out now. Why? Because people want new fun stuff you want to do this to people would you take 10 million dollars but you have to have a one inch penis hmm i mean i guess i get some extra money and i get to double my current length sure i don't see the downside yeah sounds like a good deal i can't believe they reprinted firelands uh it's better than firelands i think just kidding <laughs> ah it's not it's not that small Remember, remember, we were discussing it. Well, I wasn't. I think I saw Amaranth discussing it. The rumors of Redbeard's grotesquely humongous hog have been confirmed in 2021, okay? Those pictures next to the Burmese python were real. It dwarfed that monstrous snake lizard. It's not that small, it's smaller. It has a bad odor. <laughs> um, make everything cost less. I guess next turn I can do that anyway, and if I get one more minion, I can get an extra buff. Judge was discussing it in depth. I've heard that is true. This will cost zero. I could play it first, then I play this, then I have zero and I can't play that. Um, That's actually kind of interesting. So if I play it f first, wait, if I play this first, yeah, is that better? That goes to zero, that goes to one. I mean, I get a lot of minions on board. I can play two large minions next turn. Relatively large. It smells like the rat's nest you had behind your old desk. I don't think you know what it smells like, nor do I think you want to know. It's about brand recognition. <laughs> it's about shutting the hell up. That's what I would say to him. This was such a good card. It's good that we forced him to use it on three. Deal five damage randomly split among all enemy minions repeatable. So you can cast it uh, three times and deal 15. Yes, I'm trading. This is not what we stood for. Or you can deal six. Very cheap, very flexible. It's like trial by fire, only it doesn't leave like a couple five fives on the board. <laughs> that wasn't a rat's nest. It was his stuffed animals. That's right. The filthy dog. Why was he filthy? Who who left him? Filthified. It's insane with Popgar. <laughs> yeah, that is insane with Popgar. You're right about that. You are absolutely positively right about that. Guy's smoking. Uh, at the end of your turn, deal 2 damage to all enemies. Keep up the aggression. Cost less for each card you've played. Discover a demon. Why is this guy out here acting like a dickwad? You red, you're the filthy dog. <laughs> uh, true. That's an accurate description. 
Filthy. Dog-like. Filthy. Dog. I get to hero power if I play this one. That's a new arena? Yeah, it's like the old arena. It's been okay. It's fun to play with new cards and lose to new cards and win with <clears throat> new cards and so on. If you're holding a dragon, summon some shitters with rush. Well, that's not great. Dark bomb. Okay, well, we got our Templar. You know what would be a good draw here? Would be that containment unit. Would be good too, is if I could give this plus two, plus two. I can rush and kill that. I guess I could use these two, huh? Maybe that's fine. I'm not getting any lifesteal value here. I at least get to keep this. It'd be good if I could keep two four ones. But... You've got me fired up. Everything's better in Red's beard. What's up, Zapper? What does this card do? I don't know what the... It's terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Do they forget what Ignis does? Ignis, spend the rest of your mana to get plus two, plus two, rush, divine, shield, or taunt. I think you need to get up to five or six mana, and then you're almost guaranteed, or you're guaranteed. At some point, you're guaranteed, I think. I don't know. I think you want to cast at least five or six. Hmm. He might brew it back. I'd feel bad, but... They played it for three mana? Yeah. Maybe they have two Ignises. Maybe they have a brew and they're like, there's no way Redbeard will ever kill this card. The minimum OP one was seven? Yeah, but like sometimes in a pinch you could cast it for five or six and get something semi-reasonable, I think. Alright, that would be better. Darn it. Wow, what does he do if he misses there? I guess he just gets fucked. But instead, I'm the one who got fucked. Uh, that card's not big enough, unless I shrink that. I need to kill this one too, though. Um, four, five, six, ten. Man, I'm like, hey, what's up, Sammy? Maybe I just use this to kill that. Fine. I mean, I'm not really doing anything else with my turn. Uh, I should have played that first. I wasn't going to play it, but... I mean, whatever, we could be at 28. Okay, so Warlocks are just Demonic Studies and AoE and Excavate cards. Good to know. Muscleotron. Put some crap on the board. Maybe a Prismatic Beam will end up looking good here. You get extra time to think about your plays next turn. If you tap last, true. You get to bank that for the future. Uh, unfortunately, this does not appear to be a beatable Warlock. Maybe it is. Maybe. Deck looks broken, though. Deck looks a bit... Broken. Play this, get a 3-3. Three, three, then get a bunch of buffs. Or just play these now. I think I could have set that to 3-3 three, three already. Um, it's fine. I mean, it's gonna last two or three more turns this game anyway. Maybe we'll he'll play like a, a 10 drop or something. That's a 7. Uh, let's go here. Get the value out of the hero power. Don't commit too hard. Let's see what he's doing here. Thoughts on the new Jaina portrait? You know, I haven't really seen it. I saw that there was a new portrait, but I haven't, I haven't really looked at it. It's probably okay. Dread said he wants to buy it because the boobas are out. Can you imagine if Dreads and Redbeard face each other in a few hours? I'll be rooting for Redbeard. <laughs> I imagine most people would be. I imagine most people would be. Uh, that deck got defeated by the... Mighty Redbeard Paladin. Cool. Let's see. How's the uh, weather situation? Much rain, but diminishing ice. Diminishing ice. I won't be left behind. Be left behind. Let's try to find our Grime Streets, our Musclotrons. Is my friend Hammy still here? Hammy, what the hell have you been up to? 
What's going on in your life? Bought 2k gold, the Red Hood Jaina portrait. It's so good, yeah? Well, the important thing is you like it. That's cool. With every step, the light guides you. Uh, give a damaged minion plus three attack and divine shield. It's kind of a good card. Um, I mean, if he hits my guy, it would be great to have it, but I'll just take this. I might shoot this thing. I probably won't, but I might. Ooh, athletic studies. That's such a fun card. Well, it's not really that fun. <laughs> but it's kind of fun and it's really good. I don't know what's in the pool. They can't face each other if one of them keeps retiring, but but I never retire. Oh, <laughs> I understand. You're right, though. You're right. Maybe, maybe if he retires five decks, ten decks, it might even be a fair fight. Well, mm, I mean... Get, draw another card, which could be good. Could be good. Just been running the good old vamp strip joint with Jesty. What the hell? I was gonna say, how come I never got an invite? But I think I got a lifetime ban. <laughs> wasn't I? Wasn't uh, didn't I receive a lifetime ban? Do I play this now, or do I just set up play that next turn? Just have one of those equipped for the rest of the game. Could like forge this and then play that. I wonder. If I forge it and hero power this turn, the next turn I can't play this. So I would be playing that anyway. Yeah, I'll just throw it out. Really? Hope that things line up pretty well next turn. Because I have two, I don't think I have to greed the buff so much. Your redness does not mix well with the vamps. Redness? Get your ass over to the east coast, you'll have VIP for life. Maybe I'll hit up um. Pax West, uh, Pax East this year. To me, that would be a lot of fun. I, can forget I think it's in March. I think it's in March. Depending on what he does here. Play those. Is this the rush he got? No, that's just the rush he discounted. Brad, did you even sleep? I did. I slept for about four hours. But I'll sleep some more before tonight's stream. It ups Pax West for the East Coast. If you go far enough west, you'll end up on the East Coast. Think about that for a minute. Saw it on a YouTube video. Relax. Warm me up. Darn. Musclotron. Um, hmm. My mustache has a bad odor. I can't forge this this turn. I get hero power for a 3-3. I guess this is just too good, right? Like, it's too many stats to give up. 6-8 instead of a 3-3. Everywhere is west if you go far enough. True. So true. It kills one. Kills the other. I cry. Every time. I just lose, right? Uh, I can never beat this card. Oh my god, you get that from athletic studies? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a problem. That's going to be a problem for the, uh, for the game. Unfortunately. None may steal us. They always talk about it. The, the, you know, these cards, it's fine. It's when you can discover them easily. So you're going to get hit by a lot of Vesex. That card is broken. But, you know, what are you going to do? Doing some stuff here. Yeah, just doing some stuff. Weird that Duel's Treasures aren't in the overlay already. Yeah, I imagine they'll get put in pretty soon. Um, oh yeah, I have a duel's treasure. Not a very good one though, huh? It was okay. If it's in your opening hand, I think it's pretty good. If it's not in your opening hand, I think it's less so. I think it's less good. Top deck it with zero cards in hand. Uh, well, hopefully not. Hopefully not. This is not what we stood for. Interesting. I oh my god, the rush brush. <laughs> the room broom. Uh, he had some other nicknames. I can't remember what they all were. Mother, we seek your counsel. Mother, we seek Boy, that's a lot of buffs. He has heard our plea. He has heard our plea. But it might not matter. 
Please let there be a bug that lets you randomly generate treasures. <laughs> Why do you want that? Do I have another turn? I have another turn of this shit? That's great news. I really, uh, I need another turn. 7, 11, 14. Well, he doesn't have the armor to resummon this. He may think he's just gonna smork me down, but little does he know. The smorkster lives on. Remember when people thought Broom was gonna be bad? I thought Broom was overrated when it um released but it had more to do with the meta than the card there was when it re originally released people just had tons and tons of op spells it just didn't feel good enough to me this is okay trade one no i've got to play minions huh I'll play this here five six seven I can't hero power two Play this. Well, I guess I'm not playing it now. And I gotta kill him pretty fast. I know I'm losing the Divine Shield, but removing his armor probably matters. Um, pushing six probably matters. It's a meta dependent card. Um, but if you got a lot of minion trades happening, it's great. Yeah, I mean, it's dependent on what you're using with it. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Just hit the stuff on the right. Didn't hit this. Wow, that worked out perfect for him, huh? That's crazy. I probably can't beat that RNG, huh? Probably not. Good draw, though. Like, if he had left one at one health, then the blade storm doesn't work. If he hadn't hit my big taunt as much, he wouldn't have been able to chop into it. He would have had to chop into it. Dorsus from Blizzard say paying for runs with money gives you a 12 win deck. If that were the case, I would pay $2 for a run more often. I wish this prismatic beam hit face. Draw two cards, gain four armor, a looming presence. Culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to do that for me, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, please. Dude, this is getting better and better for me. Reinforcements with me. Cover me. Seven cost consecrate doesn't go face. Eight cost. It cost eight. That's un unlucky for me. If the 8 1 is alive, uh, it is not. But maybe he's dead? Ever? 3, 4, close. Does that ever do it? 6, 9, 10, 11. You can keep a 3 2 and it lets me push some damage, I guess. Put him to 2. It gives me a Hammer of Wrath if he doesn't hero power. It gives me a Knight Captain if he doesn't hero power. Okay. That's probably an argument. As long as he doesn't top deck a Brawl or something. The guy can't be alive here, right? There's like no way. Oh my god, my guy lived. That was a mistake. Okay. Okay. Uh, that deck was broken. And his top decks and his, R and his RNG was insane, huh? He uh, got super lucky with the Bellowing. Super lucky with the top deck Russian Lifesteal. Had an active Hobart. Misplayed his General Vezex really badly, right? He let it die. He could have just kept that alive forever. He had 10 armor when he played it. But I'll take it. Five wins. Now remember, he had a handful of buffed minions there. So the fact that he couldn't remove a 6-4... I'll play a taunt or a rush. This is in my first rodeo. All right, I'm gonna take Hunter's Insight. I'm going to. I'm gonna keep Hunter's Insight. I'm gonna get rid of those things. Might be better to have this card in your hand when you're going second, because you just get to get one more discount. Are we ending up on YouTube? I want to put this run up on YouTube regardless of how it does. If we go five and three or whatever, then so be it. Warple Stinker. Oh man, 
that would be pretty sick with double outfitter double musclotron tricky b thank you for the la gore bar appreciate you facina sorridente facina sorridente um all right i don't know what exactly i'm doing here uh zero zero Put some stuff on the board Yeah, not really the card I wanted to copy, but sure. Every other card was playable. Yeah. You know. Oh my god, remember this card? Uh, fishy. Summon a 4-4. Four, four. There's a 4-4 four, four in here. I don't really want to be the one to crack it open. I guess he can trade here. There's a 2-mana 1-2 that draws a card and buffs your whole hand now. <laughs> Makes this card look like... Even worse. It's worse. There are dual treasures in Arena now. There are, yeah. If you do exclamation mark patch or exclamation mark uh, patch, you'll, um... Well, there they are. I mean, I didn't want to see them, to be completely honest. Hopefully he takes the free trade. He would never want to take the free trade here. Four duels! They've changed Arena? They've been changing Arena a lot lately, haven't they? Wow. That's great for me. I guess I can kill one of those. Does it matter what order we kill stuff in? No, right? Um, so we got three from the first and four from the second. Only one treasure per run? Uh, yeah, your first pick will be a legendary, your last pick will be a duel's treasure. He loses so much tempo from not having the 4-4 four, four here, yeah. Plus he left me this 3-1 that could trade with his 1-2. Maybe he wanted me... He's like, oh, I want my 1-2s to die, but they could die whenever he wants, right? Only now he has a 1-1 one, one that can't get any value on, on the board currently. Six mana. Oh. Well, some treasures are not created equal. <laughs> is, is a little better than what, uh, what we had. Six mana, 6-6. Six, six. It's a six mana. I mean, it's like a, it's like a wolf. But better. This is better than Wolf. But he can only have one at least. Um, I wish I had this capability available to me. Dels. Okay. Let's hope he makes this trade. Bubba looks ugly. Poor doggo. You think so? Maybe he thinks you look ugly. Not me though. I think you look beautiful. No Wind Fury. No Lifesteal. No Taunt. A wind fury. Man, if I had one more mana and wind fury, that would be great. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, so I can't kill either of those? Okay, first game we kind of lose arbitrarily to a to a treasure. Feels bad, but it doesn't feel that bad yet. But I think a week from now, that'll feel really bad. You'd want to try discovering Holy Spell? I mean, there's no card that can get you out of that. You would need a quality and a Consecration. But you don't have that much mana, it only gives you one card. Some people are saying similar things with Wishing Well. Is this a new thing, or is this like an old thing? 50 minutes ago. Okay. Well, if, um, if it's that widespread, then I think... We probably don't have to- I don't have to share it with them. It's completely safe. Just don't spill. What's my best draw? Not all this expensive shit. I'll tell you that much. This will be four? So I kind of have to use this no matter what. Ideally we can get a play. Okay, um... If I do this first... No, if I do this first... I don't get the hero power. Is there a way for me to be able to hero power? Um, reduce that down. No, because I, I mean, it's like I'm going to float mana either way, right? Uh, no buffs. Uh, do I need to use this then? It's really to allow me to Night Captain next turn. I guess that's worth it, right? I think that's got to be worth it. Thank you for sharing that. Um... I'll um I'll see if Blizzard's aware of it, and if they're not, then I'll uh I'll try to send them some, some feedback. Uh, I have no Night Captain target. I can run that in and then clear them all. I guess that's what I have to do. Oh, 
Maybe it was a planned revert and they forgot to say it. And or just randomly reverting it accidentally. Yeah, I don't know. I would not be at all surprised if things are happening accidentally. I guess I shoot that one. I thought there was always a night captain target on board. I thought that was just how that card worked. All the arena streamers have the Hearthstone dev team hotline on their desk. Like the mayor calling the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, just kind of true. If you're in the creator program, there's a way to like submit bugs or whatever. And they're usually pretty receptive. I mean, like they're paying attention to that. And most of the time they already know when like thing is borked. But if it's an arena only bug, then usually they don't know. <laughs> And, you know. Do I want to give it Divine Shield now? I want it to lose Divine Shield, actually, right? I think that's what I need to happen. Because I need him to potentially trade it. I also need to get through the taunts, and I guess I would rather have a 6-6 six, six and start, like, fumbling around with this stuff. I guess I'll wait to play the deck out. Yeah, yeah, I would probably wait if, you know, if it's that dependent. If you're that dependent on, like, just having to need need the gold or whatever. But maybe you could jump servers and play on another server. I feel bad for people named Belinda because when I see their name, all I can think of is the Altrac Valley screaming, kill Belinda. Have you ever met somebody named Belinda? If he's not destroying the whole board, I'm quite happy with him trading and Turning my 1-1 into something very good. Um, this was an older legendary. 8 mana, 312 rush when it attacks, set the defender's health and attack to 3. It's a pretty strong card. <laughs> and almost enough. Almost enough. Does Belinda Carlisle count? No. Anyone other than Belinda Carlisle, who I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Should I go Hunter Pally, a rogue? Not a clue. Not a clue in hell. I don't even know all the cards that are in. I would say you should play whichever one is the most fun for you. Whichever class you generally like the most. A smork deck, a deck where you just dump a bunch of dudes on the board, or a deck where you're like kind of discovering and who knows what's going to happen. Hearthstone isn't fun. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is not. Oh man, if my 3-drop uh, had been the thing to live, that would have been... Uh, if my 3-power minion... That would cooler. Tears, tears. I haven't really hit our uh, any of our cards that matter, but... There's still time. We don't have our Disciple. We don't have our Templar. But it's four minions, so... 20. Don't always lose the board, right? Let's see the weather. Oh, wait. I actually get to deal some damage. All right, top deck Templar. Top deck... Shitter. <laughs> Professor Shitter. Um... Maybe I double trade knees. Keep some health on that. Um, you know, that could have been good, actually. I needed board space, though. Um, I don't know if I was guaranteed to get this. Also, it's a little awkward because I turned his guy into a 3-3. I just lose my guy. So. Bridge into tears. Yeah, that would have been kind of cool. That wasn't fun for me. I do think we probably are probably close to what I would expect from the deck based off of what we're losing to. Um, some broken duels, treasures, and some broken warlock decks, but a couple wins, you know, maybe, uh, maybe one win. What's Hearthstone? It's this wonderful game. It's just this wonderful, wonderful 
lucky. What's more satisfying than beating a guy with a basic card back and Chinese symbols for a name? <laughs> oh no, rotten draw here. But the good news, if we're staying optimistic, is when your opener is this bad, most of your top decks will be good because you can't draw that poorly. I can't draw the you know these terrible cards for an opening hand. What's the treasure in my deck? Uh, Hunter's Insight. Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand by one. It's been decent. Um, it's been decent. With every step, the light guides you. Let's take the Consecration. I don't love it, but it's okay. I can't even kill him with my two cards. First day of school. To play this, I'll get a 7-8 and a 4-4. Four, four. Or I can play this. I guess I probably need to just play this. Hope that he has to like double trade or something. Keeper of Uldamon. Maybe that's better. None may steal our secrets. Three. Next turn, I can play these two, maybe. Tammy shaking her ass at PAX East. She's been known to shake it. If you go to PAX East, let me know, if, and I'll get a pass. Okay. If you're here once in a while, remember <laughs> to talk to you more. Or have the opportunity to do so. I don't have anything planned, but I'm not opposed. I have to, like, look stuff up. They just announced TwitchCon end of September in San Diego, and I will be there. I will go to that so I can go to La Puerta and eat chips. Okay, alright. Seen worse. It's my last turn. Last turn. But I get another 4 4. TwitchCon, OMG, greetings. What's up, Clutch? Clutch Gatorade, please, darn it. Use your face. Uh, let's see. Double trading that? I'd be okay with that. That looks like a pretty nifty, uh, Prismato Beam. I have no idea what this card does. Start of game, draw this. It's five. Start of game, draw this. Each turn is in your hand, get a buff. Dude, I might just rip this. I think I am going to. I, mean, I don't want to brew anything back. I'll just get an 11-11 and a 7-7. I was wondering why you're on so early. It's a new set. Yeah, I mean, we're probably just doing one run here. One's pretty good, though. Let's not do anything good. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, no. Any problem? Reinforcements with me. Cover me. Darn it. Good fucking afternoon, Kripali. Hey, what's with all this effing and jeffing? I think an attack, right? It's called a defender, but... These things can't attack, right? Please don't shadow or death me. Okay, you know what? This felt fair. This felt fair. What happened there? We got the incredible prismatic beam to clear the whole board. Um, also, these bridges are just dunking people. And we did draw well from, from our terrible opener to having a two into a two. Um, that was nice. Evening. It's not even lunch yet. Parts of the world it is. For Polly's, um, he's already eaten lunch. But I guess other people haven't eaten lunch yet. Uh, I don't know if I should keep these, but if I hit Musclotron or Outfitter, then I'll be happy to have them. I guess I'd rather develop the minions now. Uh, this is a new card you guys may not have seen yet. Summon two one one silver hand recruits. The death rattle summon frail ghouls. The death knight hero power. Hmm. I guess I should just kill this guy. In the afternoon I eat out, and in the evening I eat inwards. Sleep because I've eaten enough. I'm an old man. Nights are for sleeping. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you saying? I mean, uh, yeah, it's okay. Thank you to enjoy Pokey Z in downtown San Diego. Look it up. Pokey Z. Yeah, it says Mexican restaurant. I'm kind of down. 
Uh, let's see. What am I doing here? This and the other. Can't think of any priest cards that could answer a board like this. Oh my god. It's a 15 hour drive from where I live, but, um... Uh... It's one mile from the convention center. One, two, three, four. What does this card do? Whenever your opponent draws a card, add a copy to it. Oh, that's his treasure. Alright, let's use all of those and get an earth, and he only has four mana. We got it out while he has three. Um, it is four minutes from La Puerta. Can I, like, see? Can I zoom in? What else is by it? Hobans, the ramen place, Lola, Hotel Mediterranean. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. The problem is, I'd probably rather just go to La Puerta, but I wouldn't be opposed to trying it. There's only street poop in front of Red's house. His toilet. I, um, I do, um, poop in the, in the street. It rains a lot here, so it usually washes it down, but it's pretty flat it's right where I live, so it usually just goes, like, two or three inches. And mostly, um, doesn't move that much. Should have read this between me and Jesse and a lot of eating. Okay, okay. Also, you should have. <laughs> Got him. Got that lecherous, cantankerous old fool. Um, I need board space, even though it's a good shot. Then I don't get my 4-4, four four, and that doesn't feel like the thing I want to do. Flat land? I mean, it's not totally flat here. There are hills, and I live in a valley, so if you go a distance, then there's big hiking trails and mountains and stuff. <laughs> Hammy's here. I better keep her at bay. Talking about my house being a toilet. <laughs> Talking about my genitals smelling bad. Very insulting. Fairly accurate, but sometimes the truth hurts more than fiction. Poops on his streets to keep the smell warm for Sebastian. Pardon me? The rope is for snowshoes, not for whipping. <laughs> it could be for both. Remember when I tried to make snowshoes? I wasn't trying to make snowshoes. Will wash over you. All right. Streamer rental house for TwitchCon. I have learned a valuable lesson over my years, and the the best thing you can do, the best thing I can do at at those conventions, is have my own place. Have my own place because you're just with people, with people, with people, organizing this, going here, calling this person, going, doing that. And then you come back to where you live and there's nine people there and everybody's like sharing a bed and a couch and the floor. It's just too much. I can't take it. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's good. It's good on, on the wallet. It is. And as streamers and stream viewers, oftentimes I find we need to and enjoy saving money, but I'll save up all year so I can have hotel what's up graham what's up wow gotta love that tarantula graham gotta love that tarantulas graham oh terrible draw in that um we don't get a buff on that card uh what do we want to happen that yeah maybe this could be decent forge again and, and just kind of like try to do my whooping next turn Next turn. Match whooping. New arena's out? Yeah, the mini set's out for standard. New arena. I'm gonna probably coin this one out. Interesting. I don't think he wants to do that. Maybe he does. Maybe he thinks I'm losing these. I guess I can... Oh, I guess now I can't really use either of them. Okay. I kind of like that play then. Maybe he shoots one? Fishy. All right, let's play the forged buffer. I guess I will coin that. It'd be nice to just dump a bunch of that stuff. But getting the spell damage off the board is good. This thing might not be useful for him. I could run him in. 
By the way, did I tell you I lost my phone on holiday? No, that stinks. I just wanted to talk about his new invention, about whipping his poop. Anyways, <laughs> why would... I still don't understand why, why that'd be an invention. I mean, poop has been invented. The whip has been invented. Hey, Miss Vivian. Good to see you here in the morning. The morning of my daughter's wedding. I can grant one wish and one wish only. This streamer is dreadful. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's an accurate way to describe me. Dreadful. What does that one do? If you use your hero power, draw a card. Whoa, this is like hero power, mage. This guy's popping off. He's popping. Um, wrong order. I actually forgot that card did anything. Hey, read any new cards? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the mini set's in. I drafted, uh, this thing. No! I drafted that two mana summon two one ones card. Bell burst, refresh your mana crystals. Oh my god, that's insane to get from Firelands. If you had another spell, that's nutty. If you had one more mana and then could refresh the cast. Seven or eight ma more mana worth of stuff. That's nuts, so. Holy spell. Um, plus three? I guess I'll take this. I could put it on here, but I summon a frozen copy. I have such broken cards, some. I'm gonna hold it, I guess. We also don't really need to commit too much to the board, too much more. Like, if he's killing all of this, I don't even know what cards are in. Maybe he's clearing the whole board. One mana five six does seem pretty good. Yeah, but one of them should have been a one mana five seven. Really fucked up. Darn it. I mean, I can kill that. That's kind of cool. I can summon a 1 1 copy of it and give it Divine Shield. That's okay, too. I just don't want him to get access to more cards. What is your duels card you got? It's called Hunter's Insight. One mana, reducing the cost of all the cards in your hand by one. In your opener, it's been good. Um, if I draw it with an empty hand, it's a dead card. I think a lot of the duels treasures are actually somewhat situational and not like that powerful but there's a couple that are like really broken we got hit by um the six mana was it a six mana six six that summoned six one one rushes that card's really good when do you get them your your 30th pick will be a duel's treasure 30th you're just super mad at the moment oh god clip it clip it quantum clip it please i'm not supposed to be working at this time I'm gonna keep holding. Please. It's a 10 minute talk. You have to watch it. Clip some of it. Time stamp it. What what time of the VOD? I was just able to get the update on iOS. Yeah, usually the mobile rollouts are a bit a bit later, unfortunately. Oh my lord. There are not many tens, and most of them actually kind of suck. I think that card got worse. 5, 10, 14. Um, zero mana to deal one. I guess I could draw. I have some outs for lethal, don't I? That's not really it. I think he's right on most of the talk. It's about comment Cole's made on Rarn's video. I'm sorry, I'm going to need context. Otherwise, I won't be able to really process... Um, we got an 8th win, nice. A lot of people leave comments on, um, Aaron's videos. Oh my god. It's pretty lucky. Didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't matter. I mean, we were so far ahead. I mean, our deck just put so many stats down. I'm not sure 
Like, if we can get all of those stats, it's hard for people to contest. <clears throat> the Warlocks... The one, one, one of our losses was to a Warlock, which is kind of easily dealt with our board. Oh, this card was so broken. Give all of your minions Divine Shield. I might have to use this without the buff. This card was nutty. It's just like if it goes off, you play this, he trades that, he free kills your guy and then gives Divine Shield to whatever he plays here, and then it's just kind of like, it's kind of over, right? It's already forged. If I can get a four, if I can get a two, you know what? That's good, right? Do I want to play this one? Does it matter? I guess it's better to probably play it in the other order. If you're not going to play it. Because then you'd have the, the magnetic buff in your hand. You'd have the buff on the board, and the magnetic wouldn't be buffed, right? Boy, I really want to play this. Uh, I don't really want to play that. It's decent on the board. God, playing off curve just sucks. This was a 5-5. Five five. I guess it'll be bigger next turn. What kind of parallel universe shit is this with Redbeard Live? I've been on in the afternoon before. I'll be on in the afternoon again. Not not that often, though. Double kills both my guys. It does not allow me to go back into his guys. If I play this, I lose. That sucks. Maybe he has to do some work to kill this. Okay, that's kind of good. He didn't get the honor kill, so that's also decent. He got the buff there, and that kind of sucks. I keep needing, um... Prismatic, uh, beam. I mean, it would have been okay. This is, I guess, better than Prismatic beam, right? What do I draw? I draw Pupil? Just didn't feel like we did enough unfair stuff here, right? We need the mana discount. We need, you know, lots of combinations of outfitters and stuff. I have no idea what that card is. Ludge on wheels, void caller, and armor vendor. All right. With me. Cover me. Freeze a minion, and its neighbors deal damage equal to your hero. The number of frozen minions. I think that card's good, especially if you can get it for free. Seems a bit unfair. All of a sudden, things are starting to look unfair in our favor. They'll help me god if you don't kill that <laughs> night captain. Don't you dare tap. Don't you dare tap last here. L U L. You click from this link, of course, if highlighted. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Why is my deck? Why are my cards frozen again? I do love a good. Alright, let's read it. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Dreads is a cool guy, but he's spreading a pretty false narrative here. He really likes to exaggerate what you need to go 12. And that makes the state of arena sound much worse than it actually is. The reality is, a lot of decks can go 12. But it's just not that all of them will. I'm not here to say arena is perfect with the super decks and all that, but their existence actually contributes to this reality. Any deck that can go 12 can also get unlucky with matchups, super deck, opponents, game RNG, and go 4. I mean, their existence contributes to the reality that you need a stronger deck to go 12, right? I mean, that's not arguable, is it? Any deck that can go 12 can also get unlucky. Yeah, I mean, that's always the case though, right? That's the case in any... Stop the entire history of Hearthstone, you're just much less likely to do well. Forget 12, like 7, 8, 9, 10. When you low roll a deck, you're much less likely to have success now. That's also, you know, partially because of the power level of cards in general. If somebody plays a Templar Captain, sometimes you just lose. Or if somebody plays, you know, 
whatever, a broken duels treasure, sometimes you just lose. Whereas in the past, it really was more like somebody plays a Yeti and you might be able to come back with a 5-5 five, five taunt or whatever. You absolutely do not need to retire a bro for a broken deck to go 12. I mean, that's true. If you're drafting and playing well, but you may not get it on the first try of a potential 12 win deck. That's true. You may save time by retiring some of the low rolls. But if you're retiring often, you're probably also retiring away some of your potential 12s. Mm. Yeah, I mean, sure. A very small percentage, sure. Several of the decks you guys retired looked like potential 12s. I had a few decks that I thought were really bad to go 12. Personally, over 82 runs this meta with no retires. I'm going 12 abnormally often, 18%. Even though my win average isn't that great, my 12 rate would probably be higher if I wasn't playing drunk for the entire first half of the season. It's ludicrous for Dreads to say that only 10% of decks can go 12. Absolutely not true. Probably 30 to 40% of decks have the potential to go 12. If anything, it's higher than ever before. There's a lot of bad info and misunderstanding out there, so I'd be happy to clear some of it up. If there's interest in that, I'm pretty easy to find. Uh, yeah, I mean, we need a little bit of internet beef, so that's good. Um, part of that argument sounds a little like arguing semantics. Like, of course anything's possible, but when he says... I didn't watch what Dredd said, but I'm sure there's like, you know, you speak in, in hyperbole sometimes. For contents of uh, uh, effect and whatnot, right? You go 12 with an ancient totem. I did it. I did it. It's up on YouTube. Broke the meta with an ancient totem. Um, but yeah, I mean, practically speaking, I like, I would agree more with dreads, but it's hard to argue against like, yeah, the possibility. Sure, 12 people might disconnect or you might face 12 terrible decks or 12 terrible players. Like, yeah, those things are possible. But the reality is it just doesn't happen, especially not if you're like streaming and playing on certain servers and whatnot, like... Dreads' is, um, perception, and mine, and a lot of people, it's from people who have played Arena for a long time throughout all the metas. It's a lot easier to say, like, most decks can't go 12, rather than say, like, every deck can go 12, but most won't. Like, it's just kind of needless wordiness, right? Do you play any other kinds of games off stream, Mr. Beard, or do you just like card games? I mostly prefer card games, but I do play Genshin still. We did a lot of sponsored Genshin. And I have still played, I've, I've kept up with my, uh, my Genshin greatness. We actually want to play this one first, so we can get the buff on the, um, the other one. He's pointing to that, like he said, Rurn isn't a full-time arena player, and they were trying to higher the chance of getting most likely 12 win potential deck. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to watch the video that Rarn put out, which I have not done, but maybe I will. I watched a little bit while they were drafting live, but I'm sure Rarn's is, you know, hyper-edited down. I don't know exactly what was said in the video, but... I find a lot of arguments stem from, um, like, misunderstandings. It's like people arguing semantics. Is that the right word? So it's like, you're just arguing, like, the language of it, but not really. What, what are the semantics? Yeah, yeah. The branch of linguistics and logic concerned with meaning. So, like, you know, and also, on that note, different players are going to have different experiences, right? So, like, you play at a certain time or a certain server, or unfortunately, if you're streaming to a larger audience, you're just going to get sniped more. You're going to get, um... You know, people who are playing juice decks are going to queue into you more often. That's busted. Yeah, this is like, there's like four like really, really strong broken legendaries. And this is one of them. Silence and destroy a minion summon a 10-10 copy of it. Just such a, it's like a mind control, but better, right? And anytime you say things like this is like a mind control, but better, <laughs> it's a little dangerous. Do I need to double trade? I guess I kind of do, huh? Let's see if we get like a rush or a charge or something. Oh, wait, I can, I can give it a thing maybe. I could play these two. I'd have to trade that. But I would get two eight eights. Hmm. Oh god, Captain is back. Hook the Captain, man. <laughs>
Well, he just took my captain and slapped me with it. Let me... I, actually, maybe I want... Oh, this one doesn't die. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's think for a minute. So if I play the Deconstructor, I could get Lifesteal. I could get Reborn. I guess I should take that. I'm still getting a 4-3 down, right? Divine Shield, not what I want. Funny enough, I, not what I want. Was there anything good in the starting hand? I mean, we had fine cards. Hope I'm not dead. 8, 12, 16, 17. Man, just imagine life steal instead of Divine Shield or Wind Fury, maybe. Another buff? Yeah, I mean, probably not what you want with an empty hand, but that's okay. We have um one long arm. We have hammer. Is hammer ever lethal? It could be with this. Wait, so this guy has a drafted holy book? <laughs> and a drafted Rain Boss Onyxia? <laughs> oh, that feels so much like cheating. Oh man, that's dirty. Can you explain why Snake Oil is good? Well, it's good for him because now I have to spend one mana to get my card draw, right? I could double trade. So that that's good for him. He's effectively taken away one of my mana crystals. Threw it back, but... Hmm. Uh, I'd rather have the stats. I don't even have spells, right? Snake Oil's 4 damage? Yeah. The issue is if it hits his Anixia anytime less than 4, then I still have to trade. Or I could just deal 4 face, which isn't super relevant. Right? Spell would be delightful here, though. Or a Rush minion with Lifesteal. That would also be pretty cool. Or something Snake Oil's into your deck is bad. Card giving you a snake oil in hand is okay, yeah. So it's just free. So if you play a 1 mana 2-2 two, two, that adds a card to your hand, when you have 1 mana floating, at some stage of the game you can get a free draw, right? Hammer of Wrath. Well, that would have been great if my guy was alive. <laughs> uh, on Fartmore's Bridge. I'm actually going to trade with this. I really want to... Um, I have a 6-6 six, six instead of a 3-3. Three, three, but I can get another buff next turn. Um, but I'm gonna actually take the free trade, because I, I want to not die, if possible. Maybe I should have played this. I'd have a 6-6. Six, six. I'd have 3 more power. 6-12, 17, 23. Wait, I'd have 23? Unlucky. Uh, nine's good. I think, you know, obviously, you got hit by a holy book and, uh, Raid Moss and Nixia. Not, not really fair cards, right? But at least it was at nine win. And then we lost the whatever, the one in five.